Not too long ago, we took a look at the brand new 8-bit dough arcade stick. I already know people are gonna be like, it's 8-bit do. They've even kind of changed their logo to uh, accentuate that to make it a point. And I know they've said that supposedly. They always stylized themselves after Nintendo, their logo and everything in the past. It's 8-bit dough in my mind. I don't care. Who gives two shits what it's called, right? But I thought this stick was pretty cool. I think it's pretty nice. The buttons feel all right. You can use the ultimate software, use this on the Switch, PC, all sorts of stuff, Mister. There's a lot of options here. Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz, wired, all sorts of cool things going on. But one of the biggest selling points that they had was, hey, this thing is ultra moddable. And, you know, in reality, sure, any arcade stick is moddable. This, in my opinion, wasn't any more moddable than most other sticks out there. So that was, Kind of one of my criticisms I had, but now we're finally getting to actually modding this thing out and swapping the buttons. We got a bunch of Sandwap parts here. Some interesting things going on. I do have this uh, Link EX Groove joystick adapter thingy, shaft. The shaft, it's pretty nice. Pull it off, just you know, pull it up and it comes off. Nice for people who travel. The other cool thing with this is, um, you could use the little Allen key that it comes with to swap the, the ball top if you want or change it to something else, right? So it's a, it's a very nice little uh, shaft, if you will. But yeah, this is a, you know, Sanwa stick. We have some Sanwa silent buttons. Uh, I've had a bunch of these buttons lying around for a while for other projects. And I still, I'm not even sure, like, I think I'm gonna go blue, but I did have like a bunch of different colors of stuff, but I think I'm gonna stick with blue. We're gonna use those for another project and I still have another bag full of Sanwas, but I'm not gonna waste your time with unscrewing this thing. I've already unscrewed it. You need a T10, uh, yeah, T10 Torx screwdriver to get the screws off the bottom. There is six of them, I've already done that. We ain't gonna be fast forwarding through no unscrewing action. And people are like, oh, just don't even film it or why didn't you mute that? Like I, I think the, the the, the, the fast unscrewing sound is, is, is funny, so leave me the hell alone, right? So all we, we just unscrewed that from the, uh, the connection. Now this bottom plate is heavy, because it's got that, it's doubled up with metal. But back here we have the, uh, we just unplugged it from there. This is the interface for, you know, we have uh, USB-C for power and whatnot, and then we have our 2.4 gigahertz uh, dongle in there. Nice little storage compartment. I like that. I like the way they did that. So first things first, I'm gonna remove the uh, stick in a second here, but we gotta, where's my damn clippers? Some of a bitch. We gotta get these zip ties off. So we don't clip anything else. Cause we wanna, I wanna get the, uh, the arcade stick off first. Make things a little easier and get this removed we're gonna try to do this fast because this isn't this isn't a crazy mod this should be pretty damn simple and this is the uh, harness for the joystick for the arcade stick the the reason this is supposed to be ultra moddable and here we are we're gonna be unscrewing this is because the mounting plate uh, underneath I mean not the mounting plate but it has you know locations for you know lots of different screws or, you know not yeah you know what I'm saying like orientations like you could get pretty much most things in here not every tang but it has that universal mounting plate if you want to reuse that uh, but if you don't want to reuse that you use your own mounting plate and you should be fine like the one that's on that sandwa back there you see it right there we're just going to use that mounting plate i believe that'll be fine i don't think i need to take this mounting plate i don't want to i just want to use that one so hopefully that'll be fine, but let's get this, you know what? Where's the, uh... get this, get this prepped. I don't want to screw it all the way off. I don't want to scratch my table. Unscrewing the uh, ball top. I'm going to leave it on there loose until I get this off. But yeah, you can reuse this mounting plate, I guess, if you need to but I don't, I don't want to, so we're not gonna do that. I already lost the screw, I don't know where it's at. We'll find it in a second. All right, unscrewing the ball. 
Got a nice handle on my ball. Get that out of here. See, if you wanted to use this mounting plate, you just remove these screws and then remount it to something else. Like I'm pretty sure you could mount it. Yeah, you can mount it to the, uh, to the sand wall, but I don't, I don't think we really need to. I think the way this lines up is fine. So we're gonna set that aside. Shaft cover, dust cover, we're not gonna reuse any of that. We already got everything set up right there. Where'd my other screw go? Dang it. So the one nice thing with the buttons anyway, is like they're all labeled. Like, I don't know if you could see those little ass uh, like tubes. They're all labeled with whatever number they're for. So that, that's, that's pretty nice. I, I mean, I, I'm just gonna go one by one when I do that in a second. But first, let's get this uh, Sanwa popped in here. We'll set that aside. Uh, we need the pins facing this way, I believe. And yeah, as, as you see, it lines right up. So let's, let's screw that in. First order of bid, bidness. See what that, that shaft removed with that, that link? Kind of makes it easier because just the, the top of this just sits flush on my table here. That's a, that's a nice little feature if you want to use those. Those are like 20, 30 bucks though. A little expensive. But if, you know, kind of person who travels, maybe makes sense. I mean, if you're a professional, you're probably not using this stick. Let's just be honest. You're probably using something custom that you built yourself or that you had somebody build for you. Um, maybe certain other sticks, but I don't know. Do, does any of the uh, professionals in the fighting game community use these 8-bit dose sticks? I don't think I've ever seen anyone use them. I mean, this one's fairly small and portable, um, but I don't, I don't know that I've seen anybody really use this other than, you know, those of us who just like to screw around and play some fighting games here and there, play on Mr. Raspberry Pi PC. Like you use this thing on a lot of stuff, man. All right, let's get these, these last screws in there. Son of a bitch. This video is gonna be 30 minutes long of me just screwing in this freaking stick cause I can't grip it. All right, we're, we're in there, we're in there. Let's get our harness, plug it in on this side. Oh, we do need to cut that, that uh, on our five pin adapter. We gotta, we gotta trim that off. As this has, you know, the Sanwa, it, it links the ground. So we're, we're good on that. Um, on the, the stick that it came with, it's, you know, it's all micro switched, so it's kind of more traditional. In that sense, I mean, is that traditional? I don't freaking know. Okay, so for the buttons, we're, like I said, we're just gonna do them one by one. And let me show you, with these quick disconnects, like they don't really have like a, a, a squeeze tab on it where you can just squeeze it. These ones are kind of like, they have a little bump in the middle. So you either just gotta be real careful, like a little bump that like hits into that, that little hole so you gotta kind of be careful. You could either just pull it up. It, if you squeeze it, it doesn't really do anything, but if you use like a flat head, if you can't get it up and you go from the open side of this, this connection and you just kind of push into that, that opening and then just pull up, it'll come out. If you know what I mean, like you just, uh, like that, it'll work, but we got that one out. So let me see, what's that orientation? I think I'm probably, like you, you have to use these ones that clip in. There's not enough room for a lot of different buttons here. I don't know if you could see that, the way this is situated. It's made for these kind of buttons that just, you know, that have the little clips on the side. Like the one I just pulled out, just like Sanwas, like those are like fake Sanwas, I guess. You, you kind of have to use those. You see it just, boom, clipped right in. <laughs> there we go. Now let's go ahead and connect that back. This one's like uh, daisy chained. It is a ground. And it's not gonna matter which one you put it on, but be careful. Like me, I'm over here like almost damaging the button, the switch. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be a little careful popping these on there. 
make sure they get in they're not like loose just squeeze the tabs push them through don't throw them on the floor like i just did because you might be able to use them for something else later snap them in and bloop bloop should push all the way down but just be just be careful be careful we're not going to swap these top ones i do have buttons if i wanted to but i'm not going to bother those aren't like action buttons like start and select who cares you kind of like with this cover it's almost like you got to pull it up a little bit and then push the switch down otherwise it just kind of mashes the that that silicone or rubber or whatever the hell it is Okay, so that's a mess of cables. I mean, I'm not even sure if this is as like worse than what it was to begin with. It might be, I don't know. Um, but it's all in there. Really, as long as these cables aren't interfering with the stick or getting away with anything that's moving, should be fine, but we will still tie these back. I just gotta find me a zip tie. I might change a couple of these around to get them above things that I put over them to get them unstuck a little bit, but that is essentially it. We're just gonna plug this part back in to the bottom half and then test it out. So be right back. This link shaft really comes in handy when you're servicing this thing. I mean, I'm really realizing it now. I have this just laying flat while I'm screwing the bottom back in. So I actually really dig that. Uh, I have a couple of those links. I'm gonna be using them in other projects but yeah, that, that just makes stuff a heck of a lot easier as well. I mean, one of the biggest benefits is just being able to remove this, put your, your stick in a bag or something if you're traveling, but working on your stick, I usually would try to like have it like hanging off a table some way, uh, like, you know, like this type of thing, just having it halfway on the table when I work on it or, you know, any stick in general. So that's, that's, a, that's a big benefit, that's a big benefit. Just wanted to point that out real quick. So there we go, we got the arcade stick all put back together. Everything's been working fantastically well. I've been playing a bunch of games with this right now. I'm playing SNK Heroines. I haven't played this game in a long time. It's pretty, pretty simple game, but it's a lot of fun. But yeah, this stick with these new buttons, the silent Sanwas, the Sanwa stick with the little detachable shaft, I think is freaking awesome. My favorite color is blue, so this like really, uh, you know, tickles my taint, I guess I would say. I would say. <laughs> but, you know, stock this stick for less than $100, the buttons in the stick weren't that bad. I just really wanted to put a little bit better quality components into this thing. And I'm, I'm really happy I did so. You know, they, they said this was, you know, the ultimate moddable arcade stick. And I, I feel like, you know, beside the uh, universal mounting plate, you know, it's not much different than most sticks out there. I mean, if you've modded one stick, you've pretty much, you know, swapped buttons and components and all of them. Like, you do it once, you can do it on any stick. So there's that. I don't think this is anything special as far as any of that goes. It's actually kind of limited, like I said earlier, with the buttons you could actually use within this, you know, stick. So eh, it's got that going for it. But just, you know, the form factor, the weight behind it. I've been using this a lot lately. You know, I have arcade sticks that are like three times the cost of this one. And I wind up using this more than pretty much any stick I have right now. Just because, you know, I'll play games on the Switch. I'll use it on my PC, Mr. Raspberry Pi, a few other devices as well. And it just suits me well. The weight, the form factor, the, the quality behind it, I think is awesome. Some people do complain that the uh, palm space, you know, is too short for them, but for me, it's fine. I mean, I'm not really tripping. But to be able to use this Bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz or wired, it's an awesome little stick for the price. And I'm really happy with these additions that I put in here. If you're interested in any of these kind of components, I'll put links in the description for, you know, different places that I buy components from. So take a look at that, not affiliate links or anything like that, just where I buy my components from. So hey, really do appreciate you guys watching. 
I'm really digging this thing. And with that said, big ass thumb butt in your face, all blurry like a Bigfoot. Appreciate it. Bye bye and boom. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Rub, rub those buttons.